Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series, Analyzing Public Data Sets, Viewing the Alignment. In the previous video, we used Galaxy to create a BWA alignment of our RNA-seq data. Now we're going to talk briefly about uh, what this alignment means, and then we're going to prepare this alignment to be viewed in a genome browser. So to begin, let's look at the alignment. The first line is the read name. The second line is probably the strangest nomenclature I've ever seen. Uh, a zero here means that the read was found in the forward orientation. A four means that the read was not found in the database. And a 16 means that the read was found in the reverse orientation. The third column here is the location. So this is the identifier for the cDNA. So using this location, you could figure out what cDNA this read mapped to. Uh, beyond that, we have a variety of positional information, uh, as well as some quality information. Scroll over here to the side, quality scores, etc. So we have an alignment. What do we do with this information? Well, one of the first things is if you had a pet gene of interest and you just wanted to see if that gene was expressed in this public data set that you downloaded, you could save this file to your desktop and look at it using the terminal. You could use grep, as we discussed in our earlier videos, to look for your gene of interest and compare that to housekeeping genes, etc. For a simple analysis, that would be sufficient. Another thing that you might want to do with this data set is to visualize the data set in a genome browser. There's a couple of different genome browsers out there. Uh, there's a really well-known one at the UCSC. Um, there's also a freely available program that we're going to use called IGV. It's Integrative Genomics Browser. And so we're going to talk about how to prepare this data set to be viewed in IGV. So the first thing you need to know is that BWA creates a data set in SAM format, S-A-M. To view something in IGV, you need two other formats. You need a BAM file and a BI file. And we're going to talk about how to get those. So the first thing we need to do is to create a BAM file from our SAM file. BAM is simply a binary format of a SAM file, so it takes up less space. So we'll go down here to the left, and we'll look at the Next Generation Sequencing SAM tools, and we'll click on SAM to BAM. And we're going to tell it to use a reference from our history. <clears throat> and so this will take the SAM file made by our alignment, and it'll use this reference file, the cDNA database, to appropriately annotate the binary file. We click Execute, and we'll be back. OK, and that took about five minutes. Uh, if we try to view the file, uh, Galaxy will tell us that we can't view it because it's a binary file. Um, but we can save it to our desktop, which we are going to do. Uh, but first, we need to create the BI file. So the BAM file is a binary version of the alignment data. The BI file is sort of a shortcut for the genome viewer. It breaks the data into smaller accessible chunks so that when you pull up a particular cDNA, rather than searching through the entire data set, it goes straight to that subset and allows you to visualize it. So it, it, it facilitates the use in the genome browser. So to get the BI file, we're going to go in the pencil icon here. And we're going to click on Edit Attributes of the BAM file. And right down here, under Convert to a Newer Format, it already is set BAM to BI. So we'll go ahead and click on Convert. And that'll create another data file, which will be the BI version of this data. So we'll be back. And that took less than a minute, and here we have a BI file. So we can likewise download this to our desktop. It's important to note that the BI file and the BAM file both have to have exactly the same name for IGV to associate them with each other. 
We'll also need one other thing, which is the appropriate cDNA data set. So IGV contains a bunch of default genomes, including in our example here, rice. Um, but initially, we want to align to the same cDNA data set that was used in the BWA alignment so we can see where the reads map to. Uh, so we could just download that data set here or from the original website where we got it, just to uh, refresh your memory. This data set came from an FTP server at the University of Michigan. It's the all cDNA data set. So we could save this link as and take that data set to our desktop. I've gone ahead and already done that. So you have the all cDNA database here, the rice.bam file and the rice.by file. And that's all we need to use IGV, and that'll be the focus of the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. See you then.